Okay, my friends, here it is. The video that is going to show you two very important things about growing potatoes. Number one is how I grow potatoes so that they store all winter long and remain rock hard in the basement even up until right now. I still have some in the basement. I will show you how to do it. And the second thing is I will show you how to transition from growing in the grow bags and into the ground and what I do with the soil. Because that's one of the number one questions I get from you guys. You say, Nate, I utilized the grow bag method. It was great. Uh, had a lot of wonderful potatoes, but they didn't store very long. Uh, about November, maybe December, they, they turned soft and sprouted. What's the secret? I'm going to tell you. Uh, and then also I'm going to show you uh, what to do with the grow bags, okay? So it's uh, about three weeks, three, two to three weeks before the last frost date. And now is about the time we want to start planting potatoes. No earlier than three weeks. Because remember, potatoes are frost sensitive. If they sprout up and they and they, you have foliage and they get hit with the frost, the foliage will die. The tuber will probably be fine, but you don't want them to get hit by the frost. So I'm just going to take you right out into the garden and show you exactly how I plant them in the ground for best uh, harvest and storage capabilities. And then when we come back, I will give you the two top tips that is going to help you to have potatoes all winter long. Okay, my friends, if you want to have a garden like this one that is thriving and bursting with life and abundant with produce all summer long, then it begins now in the planning stages. So let us take this sorry looking bed right now and we're going to give it a facelift. This has been covered in straw all winter long. So now we are just going to remove that mulch so that the soil can begin to warm up. Then we're going to bust apart a pallet and define the space a little bit if we need to. And then we're just going to take the broad fork. This is not tilling. This is just getting deep into there and aerating the soil because like it or not, it's still Indiana clay. Now, this is the third going on fourth year for these grow bags. So it is time. They are tired. So now we are going to use this peat moss and perlite and compost mixture that I've made over the years. And we're going to add this into the bed to help to aerate uh, some of this clay because it's still dense Indiana clay even if it is bursting with life it still needs uh, uh, some work and so we're going to incorporate that gently incorporate that not not like tillage just like broad forking then we're going to take this uh, Asian hoe device is I think what that's called and we're going to make some trenches now we're not going to go super deep we're only going to go three or four inches deep because there's going to be lots of straw on top of this when we're all done now is when we add our fertility you can add a uh, bud blood and bone meal or whatever you want but i'm using the viking granular nutrients about one cup uh, one half to one cup per row if you guys want some i still have some available let me know uh, if not just use whatever you want and i'm going to space them in the trench about eight inches apart give or take so this is a six or seven foot bed we got about six potatoes in here and then we're going to make our next trench and use that soil to gently uh, bury these and then we're going to add the fertility and then we're going to uh, put more of the potatoes now we're not burying them super deep though we're only bare they've only got maybe three inches of soil on them i don't know if, if you can tell from the video but it's only two or three inches of soil on them and we're going to do the whole bed like this using the the one trench to make to cover the other ones now you can uh, if you've cut the potatoes like this one then you want to make sure that they have the skin that has been cured for a couple of days and you want to place it sprout side up this is very important uh, or if you have the whole potatoes you can just place it sprout side up no matter which method or which way that you choose cut or whole potatoes you want to make them about eight inches apart and the rows are about a foot and a half apart and yes you can even plant these things like this this little thing is still going to have the blueprint to become a potato plant and so we've got these in uh, furrows that are only about three or four inches deep they're only going to have two or three inches of soil and then in a couple of weeks once the sprouts get about six inches tall we're going to cover this whole bed in straw to block out the light we want to make sure all the light is blocked out but i will have future videos on this okay so that is how i plant them in the ground but remember once they sprout up and they grow about six to eight inches i'm going to put start putting a big amount of straw on top of that there's going to be a foot of straw on top of those things before the season is over okay so uh just remember that now here's the important part guys if you want potatoes to store all winter long we must first look to nature to understand how does nature store them all winter long. What is the potato? Well, 
The potato is essentially like a battery. It is a storehouse of solar energy. The plant is capturing the sunlight and pulling carbon out of the atmosphere and using the sunlight to combine all of the elements and to produce this tuber, the flesh of the tuber. And the potato is not a root. Remember that it puts roots down, puts shoots and leaves up, but tubers out uh, to the side. And so the tuber then is a storehouse of the solar energy so that once the end of the season comes and the plant dies, then the uh, potato will sit dormant in the ground until the next growing season comes and all the conditions become right and then it senses okay now is the time to break dormancy and then it will put up shoots again it will put down more roots and it will go out into the to the earth and produce more of itself so the first of the two things that are most important when storing potatoes is the timing listen to this guys potatoes are not like the other crops like peppers or or uh, tomatoes or cucumbers where you have to harvest them at a certain time otherwise they'll get too ripe that doesn't happen with potatoes potatoes grow and then they get to a certain point and the plant dies back and the potato just stays there dormant until the next season so here is the tip you do not harvest potatoes if you want them to store over the winter time, do not harvest them until the last moment, until you absolutely have to. So here is what I do with these potatoes, these German butterballs, they take, they're a long season. They take 120 days. So sometime in September, they're going to, the plant is going to die back. Now you'll hear online, okay, you have to wait uh, one week or, uh, until, and then you dig them all up after the foliage has died back. Let that whole plant die back and just let it stay dead for as long for as long as you can up until just about the frost is going to start to come because frost will kill them. So once the frost starts to come, then I will dig them all up. And then only once you dig them up, does the clock start ticking? That's the secret, guys. So many people want to plant potatoes early and harvest them in July. They got their Yukon Golds, which are like a 75, 90 days, and then they harvest them in July, and they wonder why that they don't store all winter, because the clock starts ticking only once you dig them up. So leave them in the ground as long as you can. They're perfectly fine. The clock doesn't start ticking. They just remain dormant and rock hard. So that's the tip. Now, listen to me. About mid-July, about the beginning of July, I'm going to plant some Yukon Gold potatoes. And I'm going to let them go. They'll grow. They take about 90 days. And then they'll die back. And then I will dig them up right around the time of first frost. And those will store all winter long. Now, here's the second tip, guys. You need to mimic nature in the sense that the potato uses all different kinds of cues to tell when to break dormancy. And so you want to, the storage conditions need to mimic what it would naturally experience underground. You need it to be absolutely dark. That's number one. It has, it has to be completely dark. It has to be uh, as cool as possible without freezing. So if it's in, if it's about 40 degrees, that's ideal. Uh, but, but it can be in the fifties as well, cellar temperature, and it needs to be humid. Now, it is good to have airflow as well. That that helps to prevent molds and stuff like that. Although it would not get airflow underground, still uh, it, it helps to have uh, some airflow. So you need to mimic those conditions. Number one is to keep that light out of there, guys. And then number two is to keep that uh, uh, relative humidity uh, sort of high and to keep the temperature low. Okay, so utilizing those tips, you were going to have success, guys. The warmer it is and the drier it is and the more exposed to light it is, the faster they're going to break dormancy, the less time they're going to store. So keep it cool and dark and they're going to store all winter long. If you feel like you gained something from the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, share your experience, tips, and tricks with the other people in the comments. If you want some of that Viking granular fertilizer, I still have a small amount of the 33-pound buckets left. Hit me up, and I'll tell you how you can get it. I can ship it out to you if you want it. If not, not a problem. So check out the links in the description. Do your shopping on Amazon through the Amazon storefront, please. And anything that you buy on Amazon, then this channel will get the credit. It, which is awesome why not keep it uh why let amazon get all the credit when you could help the cause here so uh, i will see you every saturday at 12 noon for a live q a where i can answer whatever questions you come up with